Hello everyone and welcome back. Uh, in this video, which is part B of exercise 15, we will continue with exercise 15. In the first part, we show we went over the th uh, we went th uh, th uh, over the process to create the part itself, this part here. But in this video, we will go over the process to create the draft sheet which mainly the projections and also will show you that how to do a section uh, pl uh, plane so this way you can cut and get section AA and so on so and also how to put the dimensions and all these type of things okay so we'll continue with the second part of the exercise 15 so let's move to solid edge and show you that how to start the process for the draft sheet so go to solid edge I'm going to say new, new, and I'm going to, in this time, in this part, so, uh, I'm going to use NC inch. Why I'm using NC inch? Because I need the, 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 the paper or the sheet uh, sizes according to the, the, the country where you live. So, so we're going to use the, the, the size uh, related to the NC inch. And at the same time, for the dimension, I'm going to show you how to switch from between inches and millimeter. Okay, so I'll go to NC inch. I'm going to use NC inch draft. So we're going to click on this one and say, okay. This will open a new menu, a new screen. And in this new screen, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the lower uh, left corner. And you see sheet one I'm gonna double click sheet one and when you double click sheet one a new menu will show up and in this menu you go to tab background and then under sheet the arrow uh, the default was D sheet so I'm gonna click the arrow and choose uh, B sheet B sheet so I'm gonna click B sheet and say okay of course it will come smaller what I'm going to do, I'm going to say fit. I'm going to click on fit. So this will fit to the screen. The next step is to import the, 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 the part so I can put the projection and the isometric. So I'm going to, how to do that? You go to view wizard, click on view wizard. And when you click on view wizard, it will already locate where did you save the files. Uh, for solid edge so it's going to go there so then we're going to say okay we need the uh, uh, exercise 15 okay here is exercise 15 and then open okay let me just move the menu from the other screen from other screen So here is the menu. Okay, now I'm going to put, okay, this is a front plane uh, view. So I'm going to click it somewhere here. And then this is the top view. I don't need the right view, but I will need the isometric. So I'm going to click the isometric in the corner here. Don't worry where I put it because now uh, then I'm going to move it. So I click on select when I highlight any line in the shape. Then I can grasp it so I can move it to be inside the sheet. And now this is how you organize the sheet. This is will we'll show you that how to do that. Okay, so now I'm going to put it here. Uh, then I'm going to go to also other shading options. Shading options. I'm going to click on it and choose the last item, which is grayscale shaded. I'm going to click on this one and then go back to the same draw drawing and say what? Update. When I say update, now it will come the the, the part in the background and the, the using the Chrome as we did when develop the part. Uh, first, let me do the section. So the section to do the section, like to do this section here, section AA, I need to create a plane going through this location, and then identify which direction to the to the right okay so how to do that so let's go to solid edge i'm going to say okay i need first let decide about the cutting 
plane. So I'm going to click on cutting plane. So I'm going to click cutting plane. Where is cutting plane? Yeah, cutting plane. So I'm going to click here. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to go through the section exactly. Then I'm going to click here. Okay. Right click to get out. And then what? Then I'm going to go to the next section, which is a, what is accept. Okay. Now close cutting plane. I'm going to close it. Okay. So say close. So when I close it, then it will give me a direction. You want it to the left or you want it to the right. So I'm going to keep it to the right. Okay. The next step is click on section. You see section. Click on the section. And then after that, click on, on the direction of the arrow. Then it will create the section. So here is the section. Okay, I'll leave it here. Okay, that's good enough. Now, if I want to arrange the the, 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 the the parts, I can use the select command. So I, then I can move this one around. So I can move it right and left. This is now your test, how you, you want to do the stuff. Okay, no, I need to move, move it down a little bit. Okay, that's good enough. Okay, and then this one maybe need to be closer a little bit a bit more room that's good okay that's good like i'm going to use a smart dimension click on the smart dimension now don't forget we selected the inch template so what i'm going to do to, to put the, di the dimension on millimeter so i'm going to click the arrow here and to choose nc millimeter millimeter and also the text scale, I'm going to change it from 1 to 1.75. Okay, so now let's start doing the dimensions and so on. Okay, so I'm going to click on this uh, circle here. Okay, let me go from this center. Okay, let me go for, for the circle here. The bigger circle, which is 45. Here it is. And then the smaller circle, 30. And I'm going to put it here, somewhere here. Okay, so we're done with this one. Now let's do the other things. So let me do the X dimension from the center. So X dimension, and I need to use it what? Horizontal vertical. Okay, so I'm going to use it. When I click at any point on the circle, and any point in the circle here, so it's going to create, go from the center to the center. So it will be 65, okay, and then click on this one, then another 65, good. <coughs> to do what is to uh, put the, di the dimension of the circles here, of the, the radius of them. So I'm going to click on the, again to the uh, smart dimensions, so I'm going to click on this circle here. Let me get this circle from here. This is 12. I'm going to put it somewhere here. This one here. 20. I'm going to put it somewhere here. And then the bigger one here. 50. Let me get out. And do it here. So this is 15, not here. Maybe I need to put it somewhere here. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me put it here. Mm -hmm. You probably know what it is. Okay, so this is 15. Okay. Else, I need to put okay one, two, three, four. Okay, now we need to get this dimension here. So, this is will be uh, okay, 
Okay, I'm gonna start from this side till this side. So it's gonna be 12 till this side. From this side to this side. This will be the 36. And then from this side to this side will be the 12. Let me move it down just uh, by select. Highlight this one. And I'm going to move it down a little bit. Okay, that's good enough. Let me get this one. Good. Okay. What else I need to do? Let me do this uh, uh, dimension here. Okay, the dimension here. I'm gonna do the dimension here so now again how much this one from here to here so this is five okay uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. okay now this one is what is the uh, 12. And this one is the 36, and this one another 12. Any other dimension we need to put? Okay, we know that this is 5 and 12, 5 and 12, 5 and 12 because of the symmetry and so on. Okay. Okay, let me get this one too. So this one from here to here to say that this is 5 ok ok maybe I need to move this one a little bit to the top ok Again, it's your test how to organize the thing in a way that it looks nice. Uh, <clears throat> what else need to be done? So if it's just uh, forget, just you can put back the dimension and so on. So now, now to save, now you need to save whatever we did before we lose it. So I'm going to say save as. So I'm going to click on save as. When you click on save as, the computer still remember the name of the part. So you will name the draft sheet the same way. So the part was named exercise 15. So the draft sheet will be saved also as exercise 15. So this is what you can say. You can say save and so on. So you save it. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. So it exists. So I'm going to replace it. Okay. Got the, the, the uh, draft sheet. The only thing left now is as you can see here, okay, it updated the date and so on. So now I'm gonna put what the name of the sheet, okay, the the, the drawing. So what? How can you do that? So you go, you, you go to under annotation, you choose the text, you click on the text. Two menu will show up. Did I click test? Yes. Okay. So I'm gonna close this first menu and go to the second one. Okay. What I'm gonna do here? I'm gonna get. Uh, Change the font to B2, get it bold, and I'm going to start typing. I'm going to type at any place. I'm going to say this is exercise. Exercise. Exercise what? Number 15. Exercise number. 15. Let me give a space here. Okay. I'm going to go to the select. I'm going to select whatever we wrote, we typed. Okay. When I highlight it, I can move it. So I'm going to put it inside the location here for the title and then escape i was able to create the draft sheet name it and 
with the dimension and everything and it looks beautiful and this is how it is done this will end the session for uh, this video and i hope that you like it and uh, at the same time i would like to thank you for watching the video and uh, please give me your feedback and if you like the video please subscribe to the channel click the bell and give it a thumb up have a wonderful day and see you soon on another video bye bye